This week, I'm sorry, bro. You're gonna have to learn an actual skill. No more bacon for ya. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Domain.com. Welcome to the show that is definitely one of Houdini's illegitimate grandchildren. Go ahead, ask him. I bet he won't deny it. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Brian Brushwood, and this week you're going to learn an actual skill. No more BS. No more taking credit for stuff you didn't actually do. You're actually going to get the power over time and space by manipulating objects with your hands and mind. I need to pat my must art for real. <laughs> there we go. All right, back with all friendlies again because we're gonna do advanced uh, coin melting with uh, your mind okay. uh, vanishing. John, good to have you back again. Shane, you specifically are here because you were part of our ultra badass boy, boy band. Bands. Yeah, that happened. That happened. <laughs> do you remember your lesson? Do you remember how to vanish a coin? I like remember a, a little. Yeah. 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 And then boom, boom. Let, let's see it. Let's see it. Okay. What? 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 <laughs> So one of the problems with that particular vanish is in the context of that little routine, it makes sense for you to pick up a coin and then drop the other hand and have right, it right. go into the pocket. If you really want to get a visual pop, the best version of that is to do what magicians call a retention vanish, where you actually show the coin in one hand, place it into the other, and it totally vanishes. I like that expression. That means I, I did it right. I know you going to do it already, and then <laughs> magic happened. You could do it at its simplest. Just by putting the coin there, you get kind of a flash, uh -huh. and then and then what your brain remembers seeing is, I see the coin in the middle of the palm, and then I see the hands close around it. And what you don't tend to notice is all these fingers dragging it away. So literally, all I'm doing is putting it in there and then dragging it away. But it's such a powerful visual illusion, and when you do it at speed, it ends up looking more and more, especially if you punctuate it, like the coin has to be right inside the hand. Yeah. I like for there to be a bit of intentionality. So I start with this hand as open as I can get it, pinching the edge so you see both sides of the coin and the open hand. This seems as fair to me. And then the move as I do it is I start with it in right hand, I rotate it over and punctuate it, like setting it down here. And as I do, I start to kind of close the hand. Really, you just reach in and slide it off. I know it sounds, it seems like there's no way it could be that simple, but that's literally all you're doing. Yeah, it's like, are you sure you didn't do something else to <laughs> us? <laughs> all right, the question is, are you guys gonna be able to get it down? Everyone grab a quarter. Let's give this a try. Talk about domain.com. Hi, it's me, Josie, and I'm gonna talk about domain.com. You get a domain. Like a, like a .com or .net? Like a .com or a .net. And I like pizza. Yeah, really good. You gotta mention how you get credibility with .com. You can get credibility free with .com, what? Mention the promo code. There was a promo code. Say it. You gotta type in scam score. Do, 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 do. And what do you get? You get 15% off. High five for child labor laws. Clap, clap. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, ready for the lesson? First of all, uh, pick a coin suitable to the size of your hand. I like uh, learning with a half dollar at first. It's big enough to give you that big visual pop when it vanishes, but it's small enough that it's very easy. Just a couple of fingers are enough to cover it. The picture you want them to remember is this. So, okay. just like now, that. As with all the other coin vanishing stuff we've done, I recommend trying it a few times the way you would actually put the coin in your hand. So think about it like you know you would set it down and you would wrap your fingers around it. You'd go here and then you'd close it. Now notice that you would there would be a heft to it. It would be a little bit like you're making a fist, like man, it's really in there. And there, was, there, there would be kind of a, a punctuation where, where it's like you're one, two, three. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna simulate it. You're, you're at one on the right. You're gonna do a little parabolic arc. Now again, here's what you're not gonna do. Yeah, because nobody moves no, coins yeah, that okay. way. And then punctuate it, and then it's like you're locking it in. I wish it was more complicated than, than this because uh, then it would feel more magical, but right. instead, you just cover it and pull it off. Okay, so lift, fall. There you go. 
and then you begin that close. It, that looked great, except for you showed it too fast. Start with the coin on the table, okay. so that you can lift it up, show it, and then put it in this hand. Okay. So, th so this becomes the third beat. Because if you start like this, and it's just something happening, in the middle. Yeah. but instead start way back here, we're like, oh, hey, coin. You've seen one of these, right? And now at this point, we have time delay because you still think it's in there, and I'm able to drop it in my pocket or whatever, and then bada bing bang, it's gone, right? Okay. Remember that you're gonna do the drag move after this curtain kind of drops, right? The mo Think of this as the curtain. Mm -hmm. The moment the curtain covers their, their view, nobody cares how obviously you just grab it because nobody's Sorry. seeing it. All right, all right. right. Drag it off and believe it's there. Bye, ah, you're not, close, yeah, you're not believing right, it's right, there, right? right, right, right. Okay. Let's see your move here. Come on, John. All Where right. are you at? That's good. The only problem is that you radiated I went away shame. Too fast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's see it again. I want you to believe the coin's still in there. You know what you did? You looked me I'm in the eye, you. and then I automatically was like, what is I'm it? I'm gonna do magic! Oh! <laughs> oh! Now just, just make it a little bit faster. A, B, C close. Okay. A, B, C. Okay. Still three moves, but it's your speed. Yeah. That was, that was awesome. Amazing. All right, good. Yeah. <laughs> good. Which one is there's this pause where we're like, we're like, like, did he really do it? Right? Did I really do it right? Oh, okay. Yeah. One bit of advice I'll give you is don't do this in front of a mirror because what you do is you'll just learn to fool yourself. Take your iPhone, take your Android phone, and record yourself because then you see it from, from the other person's yeah. perspective, yeah. right? Right now, what you're doing is you're kind of coming in, uh, you know, humpback, like like you're like, and we're in, then it's gone. The motion that you want to to have them see is lateral from here to here is what they want to believe they just saw. So you go from here to here and you're good. Yeah. Uh, and so I and I like that extra wrist rotation. That looked amazing. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. You slayed it. Well done. Okay, so the bad news is you are going to have to practice, but the good news is you're gonna look freaking amazing when you get this down. Practice in front of a mirror, practice using a camera, do whatever it takes in order to capture that moment where you see that golden glimmer of the coin right before it vanishes in your freaking hands. Speaking of which, you and I should be best friends at twitter.com slash schwood. And of course, if you wanna suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at schwood.com. Now, don't forget to join us next week because we are going to learn the one secret Omen that predicted the death of Facebook. It'll be in the place you suspected the least. You'll never get, okay, you're, you're showing it. Bryce, that's, everybody sees it there. It's called mystery, Bryce. We're trying to preserve mystery so that people come in next week, hey, whatever. Sorry, bro. This week, you're gonna have to learn another real skill. Those people are crashing. Watch yourself in the mirror. Do whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah but is, is it in the other hand? What? Oh, it is. Oh, okay. it is. Yeah, I you forgot, forgot to put thing. it in the pocket. <laughs> I totally forgot the pocket thing. It's like riding a bike. <laughs> it's not bad.